Sagittarius, welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today I'm here to do a very unique style of reading, something that uh, Spirit decided to... Lately, I don't know what's going on, y'all. If you've noticed, I've been doing some really different styles of reading that are very unique. I guess it's where once you really surrender to Spirit, it can, can, it can get highly creative. I've been combining different decks, um, doing... Sorry, different themes. My, sorry, my... Um, my bracelet hit the desk. So today I am going to be doing a five element reading as a highlight reel preview for the month of September. I have a typical monthly spread that I do closer to the beginning of every month that we will do at a later date closer to September. But I was guided to do more of a highlight, if you will, a preview for the month, of he month ahead for you. But through the Akash if you don't know what that is, it's basically a, a recorded history of everything that's ever happened. And uh, this particularly, particular Akashic record deck goes into the frequencies, pretty high frequencies of what we're navigating in our earthly realm. So what I'm doing is I'm going through the five elements. So wood being our area of growth, the major opportunities for growth, which is reflected in the major arcana. Then we move on to our fire energy, which is wands. Then I move on to our sword energy, which is our, our metal energy, which is swords. Then our emotional waters right, in the cups, reflected in the cups in the tarot. So we have all the major elements in the tarot and then ending with earth. So water, earth, metal, uh, fire, and wood. So a lot of you who are into Chinese astrology, there's a very high regard for the elements I'm also going to be pulling at the end of this reading a um, Chinese five element oracle, which is really tying nicely into the overall spread I'm doing. We're going to go into the major themes for each element, and then we're going to talk about what you don't see coming within that element, the higher Akash, and then what's hidden in the shadows, as well as that final oracle message at the end. I've got all the deck, I've got the, the final deck on display. I'm pulling the tarot from the Astro Matrix tarot and then the Akashic Record Oracle deck. For, for all of you who are curious about this and you want to do this for yourself, which I highly recommend, I actually have such unique readings that I would encourage everyone to do it for yourself. If you feel called to, no pressure. Not everyone is into buying their own decks and doing their own particular readings, but I personally do that for every reading I do, my own reading, and that way I get a thorough analysis or um, intuit of the energies to make sure. I'm like, Spirit, is this what you mean? We have a nice little conversation every time I create something new. So this all came out, this genesis of this came out the last few days, and I did it on the, me this morning, and they were like, they gave me the green light to do it today. So... Let's, let's go. Thank you for tuning in, by the way, for being here with me, for continuing to return week after week in support of this channel and support of the guidance that I'm here to bring you to deliver through spirit. Thank you for all of your support. I read all of your comments. I'm trying to be better about that, about getting back to you, at least hearting every comment, because I know if you're going to take the time to communicate with me, I want to take the time to let you know I read it and I hear it and I feel it and to thank you. All right, even if it's just a little emoji. All right, let's thank Spirit now. Thank you, Spirit, for presiding over this reading for Sagittarius today. Hmm. Okay, let's get into it. Let's see where the major growth is going to be happening for the month ahead. I pulled back a little bit. I don't know why. I felt like you're pulling back. Um, we'll just leave it there. You're, you've been pulling back lately from a situation. All right, let's see. What's the major arcana for the, ooh, no wonder. Because you might be going through a period of some unknowns and you're being called to, through your, the power of your own inner voice, your higher fit energy, there's some sort of lesson that you've learned. Your major growth has a lot to do with your emotions. So whatever comes up in your, the uh, feeling energy around the water energy is going to be really heavily noted here because the major growth that you're going through is around what you've been feeling lately and honoring what you've been feeling. That's what I'm overall getting there. The moon. Almost as though you're, you're no longer going to sweep things under the rug and ignore certain things about what, about what you need and what you want and the life you're trying to carve out for yourself. I feel like you really are about balance right now, Sagittarius. 
I don't know why I'm getting that. Let's get the fire element with your wand energy. We're going to clarify all of this. It'll make more sense as I go. No wonder. Yeah, I told you, you were pulling back. You're protecting and guarding your energy at this time. I think it's you're actually in this energy now, but you may be feeling um, this even in a, um, a stronger sense in the month of September. I'll put my glasses on and make sure that this isn't blurry for y'all because it's blurry for me regardless if I don't have my glasses on. Yeah. This is about standing your ground. Yeah. So you honor your own truth. You know, the Queen of Wands is a really gorgeous energy. This was in the place of Leo and the major energy. Some of you have heavy Leo influences in your top three or your work, you're dealing with a Leo in September. So what you don't see coming is the Queen of Wands, okay, in your fire energy. So this is a higher octave as a court card, and you will acquire this authentic, it's almost like a return to you. There's a return to you, Sag, this month, and it all all of it is based on you actually gr um, grounding and guarding your energy, protecting your energy. All right, let's keep going. There's some hidden element. We're going to get to this. I feel like there's something lurking in the shadows, which we're going to literally get at the end, but... I feel like there's just been something that's been unsettling for you, Sag. And maybe you can't even put a finger on it, right? Let's see. Let's find out what's going on in your mental sphere. What's going on with metal? Your source energy. What's going on with metal? This is what's been occupying your thoughts or will continue to occupy your thoughts. Ah, uh, yeah. You're moving on from something that's causing you some a little bit of heartache. It could be anything. I'm not going to speculate. That's going to be more for the monthly when I do September. This is the highlight reel, like I said, a preview. So I feel like this is a heavier energy that you are moving from. If It's something that has got a hold of you a bit, some sort of loss. It feels like a loss of some sort. I'm not sure what, but it's hurt. Okay. It's caused hurt. You're moving past it faster than you think. Okay. I had to look. <laughs> I cheated. <laughs> I cheated. What's lurking in the shadows is that if you felt heavier lately and you've been dealing with something mentally that's caused a feeling of hurt, okay? Is it Thor? The Thor. Thor. <laughs> Some of you like Thor. I don't know why I said Thor. But the Six of Swords is moving past something that has caused you to ache. But it's a, the Three of Swords is a mint. It's interesting how we, we emphasize the Three of Swords as a heartache because it's actually reflective of the metal energy of the mental mind sphere. So wherever you are in your thoughts, spirit, and that's why it, they want me to, this is less heartache, right, in the heart. And I don't want to not honor if you are feeling heartbroken over a situation, Sag. What they want to emphasize to you is you're moving past whatever thoughts are creating the feelings, which are, let's go into this. What are the feelings? What is the highlight for the overall feelings? Okay, that one to come tripping out. Ah, six of cups. This is about some confusion around a soul bond, a past soul bond, or a, some sort of soul bond or inner child work that you're doing, okay? Some confusion around healing the inner child or something to do with children in your life, okay? It could be any number of things. The Six of Cups is a feeling of nostalgia, all right? It's the feeling now, okay? So you, you could be mentally focused and hurting over some sort of aspect of inner child wounding, limiting belief around your programming, growing up the way you were raised, or it could be a literal person that you were mentally feeling loss or confusion around, okay, over what to do about a situation. But you're moving past this. What's hidden in the shadows is you're moving past this. Some of you had an ending that you're moving on from, and you're trying to find clarity at this time in your thoughts as a result of this ending. Or and sometimes when we talk about an ending, it doesn't mean a literal ending. Some of you, it did. It could be just something that had to change over a dynamic in a situation. We're going to clarify with the Akash soon and get deeper into these frequencies, but it feels like you're no longer hiding from what's been going on underneath it, okay? I see this energy of you making a huge transition out of confusion, out of um, something that's really 
a place you don't want to linger in too long. It's serving what it needs to serve in you standing your ground. But it's created a, an emotional stir. I'm getting that there's been an emotional stir, Sag. Let's find out what's, what's grounding you here in your earth frequency. What's going on in your pentacle energy? I feel like hopefully this will be helpful. No wonder you're going back and forth about something. But you, and it could be where you want to go next. I'm getting it. It's like, what's next? And it's almost like if you knew, it's like the fear of uncertainty, the fear of the unknown. There's some sort of uncertainty. I think that you're, I feel like you're being set on a new course. There's a new path, maybe a left turn. You didn't see a detour and that you're getting caught up in, should I go that way or should I stay where I am or, or I'm being forced to go in a different direction and I don't like this. There's something around a new direction and a new opportunity to invest in something new All right here. That's what you don't see coming. But alongside that energy is going back and forth. You could just be juggling a lot right now, Sag, as you consider new options and coming out of confusion. Seven of Cups is also, I don't know what to invest in. I'm not sure. But I know I don't want to stay here and stay confused about it, especially around anything that you feel emotionally attached to from the past. Or a limiting belief that you need to change and shift out of. All right, let's go deeper. This feels like a month where you're going to have a few, it's going to ebb and flow. So it feels like an ebb and flow kind of month. We're going to see how you can avoid getting too stuck. Okay, let's see. So I'm get one quick shuffle of that. All right, what's the higher Akash for these major growth period energies that you have around the higher fit? This is about our traditional family values, our commitments. You're being committed to moving through something that's very deep for you. Something happening on a very deep level within you, Sag. I feel like you're breaking free from something. All right, so the first one we have, two came out, but they're gonna go side by side here. So boundless possibilities. So this is that moon energy coupled with the Hierophant, boundless possibilities. See, he's like, he's at the edge standing there and look it's almost like his little inner child is, is stepping out and it's like are you willing to consider the new you're standing at the edge of limitless potential don't limit your dreams based on past experiences embrace the boundless possibilities that await you there's something deep within you calling you forward i mean the moon energy is it's almost the mysterious the magical the ineffable frequency of longing. I feel like you have this longing to experience life on a deeper level. And there's been some past experiences that maybe have limited your perspective of, I feel like there's been some fear around moving forward and opening up like your Sagittarius adventure, adventurousness has been dampened a bit lately. It's like rediscovering yourself, reconnecting with yourself is going to be very important this month. But Spirit is saying you have limitless potential. Don't limit your dreams based on what's happened in the past. Okay, Sag. And then, yeah, no wonder. Your fire energy is going through kind of a reboot right now, like a recharge. As you imagine, like you're plugging back into whatever it is that brings you back to life again. I call it like getting inflated, inflated by the universe. It's like if you've been deflated because of recent circumstances, spirit is calling you right now by standing your ground and protecting your energy, right? And, and experiencing, you know, connecting with your own magnetic energy that you naturally possess, Sag. It's about taking the time for reflection this month. You're being asked to reflect on your recent choices. What lessons have they taught you? Reflection is the mirror to your soul's growth. Which is about opening up to knowing that there are endless possibilities despite your past, okay? Okay. Reflection is the mirror to your soul's growth. Use it to deepen your understanding and intuition, which I see here with your higher vent. So these are the keys to you deepening. What needs to shift, right, is understanding that there are endless possibilities for you for the future, despite whatever happened, and that it's important to reflect on your choices, though, and learn from them. What did they teach you? They are a mirror, okay? So I feel like you're deepening in your understanding and intuition and around self, and you need to protect your energy at this time in order to do this work, okay? And moving forward, this this is import, the important work you're going to do in September. But you could, some of you were in different timelines around that. You could have already started this process. 
and it was over some sort of situation with a contract. I'm feeling it's really about something that happened with someone else. Okay. Let's go into this mental anguish that you're going through over feeling some sort of, it feels like some sort of loss that you're moving past. Let's see what the Akash is. Will that one to fly out? Release attachments. Ah, no wonder. Yeah. It's the attachments that get us stuck, doesn't it? In that, that feeling of, oh, I know. I feel y'all. I understand this. I know we've all been here on deep levels. And then the frequency lightens as time goes by. But this release attachments, this is what the Akash is saying. There's something you need to let go of. It's either a limiting belief, an untruth, or negative behavior. It's holding you back and keeping you from stepping into your true potential and happiness. And only by doing that, by releasing that attachment, will you lighten up, sorry, you lighten up the energy and you'll move on quicker past this energy. Like I said, I gave you the preview of what lies in the shadows is the Knight of Swords, which is fighting for the things that you believe in. But that's going to, that energy is going to come in instead of lamenting over the things that have hurt you and staying there, moving past it. It's about releasing, okay? Whatever's holding you back. I think that's the work you're doing in September. Mm, I love this. You could be trying to make decisions, especially around what, where are your passions? Because now we have in your emotional body with the water element in your cup energy, it's about following your passion this month, Sag. And look at that with the wings. I feel like that's very Sagittarius right there. It's like you're going to, I feel like you might be going through some really deep hiccups around personal wounding, okay? And and going deeper, understanding the purpose of it. What is it reflecting back to you? Follow your passion. If there's something that excites and motivates you, it's a message from your Akashic record that it can lead to your abundance. Don't silence it. You might have something that's very deep around a childhood dream, but you had some sort of wounding that you're trying to overcome in order to embrace that dream and actually make the change. I feel like you're making important changes this month. Healing the inner wounding so you can follow your passion and get excited about investing and in what you're in, what you need to invest in. The 7 of cups is you see everything in these cups that she's looking at. All those different items. It's like being unsure over what to invest in next. And you're you're in the shadow like I don't know which way to pick. Where's the where's the ace of cups? Where's where's my Where's the love? I, I want to find it. That's what, you know, whenever I see the Seven of Cups, I mean, we often talk about being the card of illusion, but it's, it's really about the land of opportunity. And it's what you choose. But sometimes in order to make that choice, we have to release whatever burdens that are standing in the way of that. I feel like you're releasing a lot. You're releasing a lot this September and you're getting more clarity. It feels like you've had a lot happen in your life lately, Sag. And this is about reconnecting with your inner child and making healthy choices for yourself that lead to you feeling like you're really focusing on following your passion because that's what's going to light you up emotionally. Now we move to this, mm, this almost like this, I'm getting like this heave. I heard heave, oh, you know, like when you're when you're lurching forward in a ship and it's like you kind of have to go back before you lurch, you know, lurch forward. I feel like there's been a heave hole for you in your physical embodiment. You have a new opportunity being handed to you. That's what you don't see coming. A new beginning. Ace of Pentacles. I love seeing aces because it's a promise of something new. But you're going back and forth about maybe the timing of it. And again, here look at heave hole. No wonder. Heave hole in the rough seas behind her. I feel like you're just juggling a lot and you feel like you want some sort of lifeline. Sometimes when we're going through heavier emotional energies and heavier thought processes, it can be really, I feel like the minute you let go and you welcome in that, you know, your life is full of unlimited possibilities and you really pursue, you focus more on the emotion of following your passion and releasing whatever you got attached to and letting go. I feel like this beautiful, new, stable energy is going to come in. What is this earth energy? You're doing a lot of cleanup work. Emotional, mental cleanup work this month. 
Yep. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it, Sag. I knew it. We're going to read two because these are very important. Fresh start. A lot of you are looking for a fresh start. You're tired of dealing with things that, you know, maybe situations that weren't very clear for you that you've had to learn a lot. It's like your spiritual growth has a lot to do with things that you chose to experience, but there was too many hidden elements, like too many unknowns. It made you juggle too much emotionally and mentally. And now you're going through this deep period of reflection moving forward into September, releasing attachments, renewing this rebirth around your passions, around what you came here to actually build. And you, the spirit is saying, have faith, have faith. You got a fresh start. And that's a beautiful place to be in. Okay. So let's read these. You're being given the opportunity to begin again. Allow yourself to embrace this new life and open up fully to this gift that you've been given. Have faith. It's not always easy to have faith and trust that everything is going to be okay. Yet still, you must do exactly that. Because when you have faith, your life will begin to flow in magical ways that you never imagined were possible. And what you have here at the very beginning, the major growth is endless possibilities. So I feel like the more you ground in knowing that for a fact, Sag, you will renew your faith and you will have a fresh start this month. But I feel like there's important work to be done. You're looking at me, you're saying, I know I've got some important work that I need to do. It's time for me to focus on that. I don't want to hide from it anymore. You know, it's time to really address it. And I feel like you're really doing it wholeheartedly. It's almost like, you know, and it, this has nothing to do with recovery. So don't get lost in that narrative. But it reminds me of when people like take inventory and they reevaluate their life, no matter how old you are. And you, you think about what do I really want to invest in? How do I really want to feel emotionally? What's going to make me feel happy and fulfilled? And you're generating this brand new start for yourself. And you're going to be embodying this beautiful queen energy. You will overcome whatever pain you're feeling, okay? You will. You're moving past it faster than you think. What's the hiding in the shadows with this Hierophant energy? The world. No wonder. No wonder, Sag. I feel like you've had a lot of things that have happened in this past. I felt like something big going on here. Um, you've had a lot go on in this cycle where it just, you're just like, man, I can't catch a break. You know, things being revealed. Um, things not feeling like you could get to the bottom of, you know, moon can be kind of elusive. It's like, ah, you know, it's, it's a lack of clarity on your path, a lack of not knowing people's intentions, a lack of not knowing where things are going, you know, kind of feeling like you don't have control kind of vibe. And I think that what you're realizing is it all led to a tremendous growth spurt for you. And that's what I'm seeing here. A lot of us, as we launch into a new season, we're wrapping up these cycles where whatever we were not seeing clearly, we're going to see more clearly now, okay? Especially after this retrograde. I feel like you've had some confusion about someone in your life. It's time to make new choices, okay? It's time to make new choices. I'm getting that. All right, Queen of Wands, what's hiding in the shadows? The Ten of Wands, no wonder. Yeah, it's time to drop the burden. Protect your energy. Reflect, all right? Really, this card of reflection. Reflect on the choices. What did you learn? And I think it's hard. It's hard when we have to really be honest with ourselves about the choices that we've made. I mean, I'm a Sag rising. I'm right here with y'all, okay? I've made hard choices in my life that didn't always lead to the outcomes I was hoping for. But you know what? At least I tried. And that's, I think, what you got to remember here is that growth comes at the expense sometimes of disappointment. And what is meant for us will find its way to us. But sometimes we have to learn through um, what isn't meant for us. And releasing our attachments to certain people, places and things is something we must, we learn from it. It's part of life. We master it, right? All of you people who have been around the block, we'll talk in seven, seven, six or seven decades, you know what I'm talking about. The biggest journey of life is to let go. Let go of it all, right? Because it's just going to weigh you down. And I feel like that's where you're doing a lot of uh, self-forgiveness, um, self-acceptance this month and letting go of whatever has been the hard place for you in your life, whatever aspect of your life that's been difficult. You are reflecting at this time. And I think it's going to relight your fire to just take this important pause because you have a fresh new start coming in. 
all right, which I see um, later this month, okay, especially as we start to approach um, the end of the year when it's more your season. I feel like there's just a lot of letting go going on for you. Let's see what's hiding in the shadows of the Three of Swords. Oh, yeah, and I already said that, the Knight of Swords. You're moving through this period of just um, anguish. I feel like there's personal anguish going on in your mind. And you may. some of you are like, I don't even know where it's coming from. It could be something so deep because we have the moon here. It's, it's really the type of energy that we feel when we're wrapping up a cycle. And you're kind of like, I call it visiting the ghosts of, of the past, you know, echoes. So some days you're going to have these echoes that reverberate through your vibration and they're echoes from all of the previous cycle, the people, the experiences, the memories, which you have here heavily. It's creating feeling. You have a lot of memories coming up. That's what the Six of Cups reflects. If anything, your path has taught you that it's time to really follow your passion and, and stand in your own power as the Queen of Wands that you are embodying here. With the Hierophant by your side, staying true to your values and to your beliefs and to your own spiritual growth, Sag. It's very important work that you're doing. Please don't lose sight of that, okay? Now with the Seven of Cups, we have the Eight of Cups. No wonder. Yeah, you're letting go. It's like, let's drop the emotional baggage. And you're lightening it up, all right? I think you have more satisfaction underneath this. I feel like into October, you're going to feel a lot more personal satisfaction. It's not It's not that September is going to be a bad month, y'all. I'm a Sag rising. I... I don't have anything. I got no beef, nobody going on. And I haven't had a recent severing of like we're talking the last week or two of anything really that could cause these earthquakes. But I've been sitting in some heavy energy and I'm like, what gifts? But it's like when we start peeling back the layers and we do deep, deep inner healing work and that comes with self-reflection, right? Pausing, releasing attachments, opening up to a fresh start and new possibilities. Like that's the gift of releasing these heavier energies. That's the spirit saying. The gift in the heavy is is a lighter, and they showed me a hot air balloon. So it's like you're dropping the, you're cutting off the weight, right? Of the past, right? Ain't nobody on earth right now who is an adult or, or older than like coming of age adult has not struggled, okay? On their path. And you're showing me, you're going from the seven to the eight, but then you're dropping down to the three, so you go six, seven, eight. So there's some sort of progression going on that the more you go deeper and you release some illusion, confusion, energy, and you make important choices and you release the emotional baggage. We're talking about the trauma, right? That some of you have been dealing with lifelong. Releasing, letting go, climbing up that mountain, conquering aspects of self that require us to release attachments. There's a major lightning of the energy. Now, what lies in the shadow here, the Five of Pentacles. Yeah. Don't get stuck in losing your faith right now, Sag, or in September, okay? Some of you are having a hard time in your work life, or there's some confusion around what you want to do, what you can maintain, how to create more abundance. You've got a new fresh start here, but this is all dependent on you coming out of a period of lack. Some of you are leaving someone out in the cold, and it's not easy to do. Yeah, a plane flying above. There's some sort of moving away. It could be, I, I'm getting this heavy energy of actually saying goodbye to someone, a uh, soul contract, um, because you know that that's what you need to do and it's going to take some work to do it, okay? It's taking work to do it, but you know it's the work that needs to be done because you might have someone in your life that you know you're just going to continue to juggle. It'll be up and down, back and forth, in and out. So let yourself have this fresh start, okay, Sag, and keep the faith, okay? That's the major Akash here. Now, let's go into the final pull, which is the Chinese Five Elements Oracle. This is a going to wrap this up quite nicely. I feel like this will embody the entire reading. All right, what is the Chinese Five Element Oracle card for you, Sag, for the month of September? You're doing some very deep and important work on your path. I feel like sometimes this is what we got to do, and you're not afraid to do it. You're wrapping up a cycle where it's time to drop the burden, okay? Do this deep reflection. Release what you need to release, okay? Continue to follow your passion and have faith. You may have just felt like you had to let go of a lot in the previous cycle. I can relate. I let go of like a couple people, and it was hard. It was hard. 
But you know, like, you know when a contract's done. You do. And you know, you know, sometimes you can renew it. <laughs> Other times you're like, ah, this is definitely expired. It's only going to be sour if I continue to try to squeeze anything out of this anymore. Let's see. What is the Chinese five elements? What are they, what is that? Um, What's that saying? A season, a reason, or a lifetime? That's what this feels like. A reset is coming. Mm -hmm. Keep the face, Sag. This is a reset. Press that reset button. What did I say? It was like you're getting rebooted by the universe here. Number 39, water, tiger. I knew it had to be water predominantly because you're feeling a lot. To feel is to heal, right? A reset's coming. Look at that tiger swim through the water. I didn't. Do they swim? This tiger swim. The water tiger is one of the 10 spiritual pillars with yang water and the heavenly frequency on top of the tiger's yang wood in a harmonious cycle. Boy, any of you acupuncturists out there are going to go, yeah, I am not really sure what this means, but maybe some of y'all, you'll get it. Um, I'm going to read that again. The water tiger is one of the 10 spiritual pillars with yang water and the heavenly frequency on top of the tiger's yang wood in a harmonious cycle indicating a deep connection with your spiritual team and support from heaven and earth. Yang water, like the oceans, seas, and wild rivers of the world, can be rough, but vast, limitless possibilities. What did we get for the major growth? Endless possibilities. See, I told you, it all ties in. So the limitless possibilities lie beyond the horizon. The tiger can effortlessly achieve success. Blah, blah. Let me start that again. Man, I can't wait for retrograde to be over. The tiger can effortlessly achieve success with its, his tremendous willpower, patience, speed, and laser focus. As the sign that welcomes us into spring, the tiger symbolizes new beginnings with promises of growth. A reset is on the horizon when you receive this card. The time to reach for your dreams has come. The uh, new adventures and possibilities beyond your imagination are waiting for you. But for the new to enter, something else that has outlived its purpose must go prioritize and keep your focus on what matters. Things are turning around for the better. The road ahead may be as unpredictable as the ocean, but it's exciting and full of potential. Release your fears and self-doubts. Let your hopes steer you to a path of light and clarity. Set your vision far into the future and ride the waves. Once you've entered the open seas, you're in for the ride of your life and you won't even think of looking back. I love this. Message from heaven. Yang water shows us a long range vision of the future. Go with the flow. Navigate carefully, or, sorry, navigate carefully on stormier days. Move confidently on calmer days. I told you it was kind of an ebb and flow type of month. Message from Earth. The tiger is guided by instinct. Trust yours and don't overthink your moves. Be quick on your feet when the path is clear. Wow. Major reset coming in, Sag. I hope you enjoyed this uh, highlight reel preview for the month ahead. Leave your comments as you see fit. Um, I highly encourage you to watch this once and then come back to it whenever you feel guided to, to take notes and see how the month progresses. I feel like this is one of those readings that's going to help you each time you hear it. Um, and that's not, has nothing to do with me from a selling point of view. I just feel like I've even recognized that these readings that spirit has led me to create through spirit they're here for you, accessible to you whenever you feel called to it, okay? I hope it helps you. I really do. Because I feel like this is a major, major um, culmination on your path. And um, you're moving through a great many things this month. So be gentle with yourself. Be kind to yourself. And most of all, know that you have a lot of love coming from over here at Illuminated Tarot. Thank you. Take care.